Brian's first head coaching job came just seven years after leaving Alabama. The University of Maryland decided to give him a shot. I remember he coached at the University of Maryland, and that's the first time his name had come up because he did a great job there, only stayed there one year. Then he went to Kentucky and won the Southeastern Conference Championship, which they never do, and then Texas A&M. And I was a young coach coming along, and so I just admired everything he did. First time I saw Coach Bryant, I really didn't know who he was. So I was a freshman at Texas A&M. Uh, we were having what they uh, called a yell practice. I didn't know who Coach Bryant was. None of us did. And he makes a speech to the student body. And I, I remember he was standing there, he was a big man, and, and he takes his tie off and takes his coat off. I looked at my roommate and I said, I don't know who this guy is, but uh, there's something special about him. Every school he coached at did a dramatic turnaround, and, and usually very quickly, usually in one year. Now, the, they went through heck. I mean, he was tough on them. You know what? but he made men out of them. I never gave quitting a thought. I did want to die. When we'd go into the town of Junction, every once in a while to practice, uh, we had to go sort of around the curve and over a bridge. And I kept thinking, man, if, if this bus breaks, we'll just fail and we'll just sort of go out into that water and drown, it'd be an honorable way out. <laughs> 